All right, y'all, so about four months ago, I had created my own football team on NCAA 14 using mods. But guess what? We ain't even gotta do that no more with College Football 25. And now I present to y'all Dallas Christian University, the new and improved version. I had to run it back and keep the school spirit alive. So first, let me show y'all the top players on our offense. Then I'm gonna show y'all the uniforms. Then after that, we gonna hop into the first game of the season, which y'all are all here to see. Coming in at a nice 87 overall, we got the starting quarterback, Justin Marlowe. Playing his junior season of college football, hopefully he's able to take us far. And he should be able to because he got some help with the halfback, Isaac Galloway, coming in at a 96 overall. Making him the best player on the team, and he's only a sophomore. Look like he's 35, but he only a sophomore. Next up, man, we got a star receiver, Jalen Moore, coming in at a 91 overall. Now, he only a freshman, but the QB going to be looking his way a lot. And it's only right I'll show y'all who we got at tight end, Maverick Ross. He only a 78 overall, but it's about the heart. But we only got him for this season because he a senior. That's all I'm going to show on the roster, not the uniforms. First, we got the home uniform, you know, all black. And to add a little pop, we got the all red chrome helmets. Next up, the away uniform, just all white. Something nice and simple. And it wouldn't be me if I ain't at a loud uniform. So we got the all yellow Johns. These low key my personal favorites. So Y'all might see it a lot. And if I'm gonna have all yellow, then I know I gotta have all red. And last but certainly not least, we got the gray out uniforms with the silver chrome helmet. And these probably my second favorite. Y'all let me know in the comments which one is y'all's favorite. And now that that's all out the way, man, let's go ahead and hop into the first game of the season. To start this season off, we got Illinois. They start off with the ball and didn't score. And our first play of the game is a toss to the halfback. He snatched some ankles on his way for a short gain of three yards. Very next play, the QB take the snap, fake the handoff, step back, and looks for his wide out across the middle, but throws a mean pick, costing us a turnover early in the game. This is your first opportunity. Luckily, he get a second chance because they don't capitalize off of that interception. He drop back and look for the freshman wide out again. He finds him this time. And it works out in our favor as he gets some good blocking along the way and will tie his way into the end zone for his first collegiate touchdown, giving us that 6-0 lead against Illinois. They remain scoreless, and this drop starts off with a fake handoff to the fullback. Hands it off to Morris, and he ends up taking off, juking some people along the way. And Illinois is having trouble keeping up as he makes his way to the 10 and eventually to that end zone, putting us up two scores against Illinois early. And our offense is rolling right now, but eventually that pass rush will get to us. And not only once, but twice. Forcing us to punt the ball off. The QB toss it to the fullback. He take off. They do some good blocking along the way. He end up picking up a big game. Four being brought down at the 20. And the freshman receiver, Jalen Moore, would end up getting us close to that end zone. And the QB would go his way to finish that drive off. Throwing a beam for another score on the board. And it's starting to look too easy for Dallas Christian. He finally get at least three on that board, and he faked the handoff, drop back, and find that receiver wide open again. He pick up another big amount of yards, juking in before being brought down close to that 20. And who else to get us into that end zone other than Jalen Moore himself? QB throws a dot, and we tack another touchdown onto that lead. End of the second quarter, they add on another three. QB dropped back and he decided to air it out with 30 seconds left on the clock. And to all of our surprise, he ended up coming down with that, getting us right there outside the end zone. He wants to take the top off. And the sophomore halfback will finally get his name on the board with this easy run for another touchdown. Beginning of the third quarter with the score being 35 to six, QB will fire one off to the halfback and he ended up showing us why he had 96 overall, making a cut inside, back outside, before being brought down at the 20. And our fullback will do the rest off of this handoff where he make a tough run up the gut to get us in that end zone and widen the lead. Late in the third, we still got our foot on the gas and the QB dropped back and throw a dot to number 12, where he make a nice toe tap grab to stay in bounds for a huge game. 
Next drive, the QB will go through his progressions and find number 12 again, but this time, he's able to catch him in stride, which allows him to make his way to the end zone as nobody else is able to catch him for another big touchdown. We making a statement with the first game of the season. So we end up packing them boys up with a crazy blowout, the score being 63-9, to and that's how you make a statement from a school that nobody knows about yet. And for the first week, they get it done. And the player of the game award was given to Jalen Moore with seven catches for 194 yards and four receiving touchdowns. A crazy debut for a freshman receiver. And he won player of the week with that stat line. Second game of the season, we got a home game against the Wisconsin Badgers. We start off this game with a handoff to the halfback for a quick gain of eight. But they hold defense was on all 10 toes as the QB take the snap, drop back, roll out for a better angle before that pressure coming. Gets hit as he throws, resulting in an interception. And I missed that tackle, so he make his way to the end zone for a pick six. On the third and one, we need to convert, and he's able to find his receiver on the slant, grabbing us that first down and a little bit more before being brought down. He would end up connecting with his halfback. He's able to get past that first defender, making a cut inside, end up being brought down right outside the 30. A few plays later, he connect with his receiver downfield to get us right there by that end zone. He was ruled down a yard short. And the halfback would do a rest off an easy handoff. He'd take it right up the middle to get us into that end zone, tying the game up. They don't score, and the QB is able to find a tight end. Catches him in stride as he makes his way past that defender. Makes a cut inside before being brought down at the 20. We moving down that field and seeing some daylight. The QB take the snap, drop back, and throws a dot directly to the defense for his second interception of the game. QB having a hard day. They don't score, so off is back on the field, and he tries to air it out and throws his third interception. Coach is punching air right now as we add another turnover to the stats. They go down and get three off of that pick, and he finds his receiver number 12, takes off, breaks the defender, and picks up a nice amount of yards before being brought down. A few plays later, he would end up connecting with his freshman wideout. He's able to bring that in, but he's brought down a yard short of the end zone. But our other wideout is stepping up, number 12, to get us into that end zone. Give us our first lead of the game against Washington. Score being 10 to 14, he ended up finding number 12 again open. And he got some room to pick up some extra yards along the way before being swung out of bounds. And he's stepping up. We end up losing yards, and on the third and 18, he fires one off to the end zone that winds up swatted, forcing us to settle for the field goal. So we missed the field goal, and they end up adding three, making the score 17 to 14. But he finds the big tight end, squeezes in a pass that he's able to come down with and make his way to the end zone, giving us that lead again. They still have 17. We hand it off to the halfback. He gets set up with some nice blocks and takes off. Ends up breaking the defender. Not one, but two. Now he has no one to beat. All he see is daylight make his way to the end zone. Adding on an extra six to that lead. The score being 17 to 28, the QB dropped back and looked for Jalen, and he finds him with a gap between him and his defender. And I know he making that house call, taking this one all the way to the crib, adding on to that lead. So we end up winning another home game with the score being 17 to 42. We started off a little slow, but picked it up at the end. Everybody chipped in and we brought home the goal. And the player of the game went to Isaac Galloway with 138 rushing yards. Off 16 rushing attempts and three total touchdowns. We looking nice so far. Game number three, we going up against Iowa. Looking to keep that win streak going. We start this game off like the last two with a handoff, this time to the fullback, and he pick up eight yards fighting through traffic. Every play of the game, he take the snap, fake the handoff, drop back and look for his favorite target, finds him. He brings it in and does what he does, taking it all the way to the end zone, getting us on that board the first drive of the game. They go down and score a field goal. On a third and 12, QB can't find nobody open, so he step out of his comfort zone and take off for the first down. Even broke a defender on the way before being brought down close to that 50. 
distance. He ended up delivering a dot to Jalen Moore across the middle. He brings it in, breaks the defender, taking it up past that first down mark before being pushed out of bounds. On the third and six, we're looking to get that first down. QB scanning the field before delivering a pass to the left side. Ends up being swatted, forcing us to settle for that field goal. As y'all can see, we missed the field goal and they also didn't score. On another third down, he ended up getting hit while releasing the pass. We have to settle for another field goal. Somehow we managed to miss that one too. They still got through on their board. QB finally completes a pass to the wide out, getting us up close to that 20. On the second and goal, he ended up rolling out and he saw his wide out opening the end zone unbothered but overthrew it, putting us in a third down situation again. As y'all can see, we settled for that field goal, but this time we actually make it, making the score 10 to 3. Not much happening on either side of the ball. We end up settling for another field goal and this time we're able to knock it down. In that halftime, the score was only 3 to 13. Two minutes left in the third. The score is now 10 to 13. They finally score. The QB releases one down to his receiver, Jalen, making a move on one defender, opening that drive with a huge gain. Iowa ends up scoring again, giving them that late lead. And the QB connects with the tight end. He takes off, breaks the defender, and makes his way up to the 40. QB goes through his progressions and notices that gap down the middle, so he takes it, snagging that first down and picking up some extra yards before being smacked. Later, he would end up looking downfield, rolls out, and catches his halfback with a step in front of his defender, airs one out, and it's a touchdown, putting us back on top late in the game. But we left them too much time, so they score again, and we in scramble mode trying to make anything happen. As y'all can see, we struggling to get open right now. And on a 4th and 10, our final chance to make something happen and wind up being swatted. But not enough time for us to get the ball back. We end up taking our first loss of the season. The score being 24-20. to We started off slow this game and failed to pick up the pace, resulting in a tough L. That's it for this video, man. If y'all enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if y'all want more of this content, let me know in the comments. Thank y'all for tapping into this video, man. And with that being said, I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Money, hold up, gotta cut up, lot of order, dollars, quarters, wrist, water, reach, water, bitch, on the, on the, on the, wanna, come on, come on, hunter, hey, I'm a stunner.